The Outstanding Insurance Claim Report can be a huge revenue generator for your practice. Because the Outstanding Insurance Claim Report is easy to understand, easy to use, and interactive, your staff should be able to follow up on this report regularly so it isn't a time-consuming headache. The Outstanding Insurance Claim Report can be found by going to your Reports menu in Practice Web and in the Monthly section, clicking on Outstanding Insurance Claims. Just to be clear, this is a list of insurance claims that have been submitted to the insurance company but have not been paid yet. Many offices will allow too much time to lapse between running this report, and this is a bad habit because not only do you risk the time running out before you can resubmit the claim, but now you risk having the claims time out and then you have to write off the balance. You can lose tens of thousands of dollars annually by not following up on this report. If you check this report regularly every 30 days, then it will remain nice and short and you can improve your cash flow. A few basic features to understand. This is an interactive report, meaning that you don't have to print it out to work it. I'll show you specific examples later in this video. Depending on how many outstanding claims you have, you may get interrupted and need to come back to this report you can minimize the Outstanding Insurance Claim Report screen while performing separate unrelated tasks in the software. Then just expand the screen when you're ready to work on the report again. If you really need to, you can print the report using the Print button in the lower left-hand corner. Or, if you have an outside billing service, you can export this report to an Excel spreadsheet and email to your billing agent for their follow-up. Now that you know how to access this report, let's talk about how it functions. By default, the software shows claims that are older than 30 days. This is important because claims that have not been paid within 30 days of initial submission need to be resubmitted or you may need to call the insurance company to find out what information is needed or what's holding up the payment. As long as the max field is blank, the list you are viewing will be any unpaid claims sent 30 or more days ago, regardless of their age. If you would like to see more recent claims, simply blank out the minimum field. Now you'll see any outstanding claims as of today. In the list, you can see the carrier name, the carrier's contact phone number, the type of claim, the patient, the date of service, the last date the claim was sent, and the amount. Since preauthorizations are not a guarantee of payment, you can uncheck the Include Preauth box, and they will not be included in your report. You don't always want to exclude your preauthorizations, though. Sometimes, if you need to find a source of revenue to help you achieve your production goals, you can find that source in this list. And you can confirm if the treatment is authorized, and then contact your patient to schedule the appointment. You can also follow up on this list by provider. So if you're trying to follow up on claims for a specific doctor, you can simply select their name from the drop-down list. Make sure that if you make any changes to the filter options, you click Refresh to update the report. Once the list of claims that you need to follow up on is visible, now you can simply work the report. If you need to resubmit a claim, you can do it from this list. For example, if I click on Bob Smith, you can see that the software automatically took me to Bob Smith's account. It doesn't matter what module you're in, if you double left click on the line item from the report, it'll bring up your insurance claim automatically. From here, you can verify that all of the information originally submitted is correct, and if you need to resubmit, you can just click on the Send button to send this claim electronically. Sometimes we get support calls where the staff will notice that claims that have been paid still show up on this list. This occurs when a payment is made in the account module, but the staff member cancels out of the claim screen rather than clicking OK to save. For example, if I double click on John Doe, you can see that his claim was paid, but the claim status still says sent. When you make an insurance payment in Practice Web, the status of the claim will change to received automatically. So as long as you click OK, the claim will be marked as received and be removed from your Outstanding Insurance Claim Report. However, if you click Cancel after making an insurance payment, that status change will not be saved. 
So if you see a paid claim on your outstanding insurance claim report, simply double left click on it and manually change the status to received and click OK to save your changes. And you'll see that immediately the claim was removed from your report. By utilizing the interactive features of the outstanding claim report, you can make sure that this list stays nice and short so it isn't a headache to follow up on. And you can also increase your cash flow exponentially since you're making sure that the claims are getting paid in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need further assistance with the outstanding insurance claim report, please call support at 800-845-9379, option 2.